members, it is time for each of us, political leaders, public officers, religious leaders, traditional institutions and family members, to do our part in raising boys into morally upright men who will never need who will never need to affirm their masculinity at the expense of women. But, but instead, contribute to making our society just, safe, equal, and inclusive. I appreciate women leaders who have taken time to engage me and propose solutions to address this issue. I have held discussions with other leaders in government and I have tasked the Deputy President to reach out and facilitate collaborative, broad-based, and multi-sectoral deliberations and recommend effective and radically transformative and affirmative action within the next six months. This parliament, this parliament will recall that early in my tenure, I engaged the leadership of both houses with recommendations on a working formula to actualize meaningful inclusion of women in national leadership. 